Hey, HV Kids, it's Pastor Jared, and we're so excited to be here today for another episode of Questions with Fitz. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? He has four questions for me today. So let's look at question number one. Question number one is, what shape of Reese's do I like best? Well, first of all, I love all kinds of Reese's, all of them, but one shape is far better than the rest. And that is the special Easter egg shape that comes out at Easter. It's perfect because the peanut butter is a little thicker, the chocolate is a little bit thinner, the perfect shape for Reese's. Question number two, what is it? Let's see, hmm, fits. Hmm, oh, so what um, sport would I like to play if I were professional? Well, that is pretty simple. I know right from the beginning what the answer to that is. It is basketball, yeah! <music> Question number three is, hmm, is heaven and hell real? Wow, that's a really deep question, Fitz, but I'll do my best to answer. You know, the reality is that heaven and hell are both real. In fact, the Bible gives us clear descriptions of both. One of the descriptions, and I'll tell you, God specifically made heaven for you and for me. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. And guess what? We get to choose if we go to heaven. And when we get there, the Bible says there's going to be streets of gold, that literally the gates are going to be made of pearl. It's real. And one day you and I can be there together. Now, let's go to question number four. Question number four is, hmm, when is Jesus going to return and how? Is that correct, Fitz? Okay. Hmm, well, first of all, we do know that Jesus is going to come back again. And here's the thing, we don't know exactly when. In fact, the Bible tells us that nobody knows when Jesus is going to return. Only the Father in heaven knows that date and that time. But it does tell us how he's going to come. And I'm going to tell it to you. It's going to sound a little scary, but it's not meant to be scary. The Bible says when he comes, here's how it's going to be. It's going to be like a thief coming in the middle of the night to break into your home. That sounds scary, but he's not trying to scare us. What he's trying to teach us is that because we don't know, we always need to be ready. So you know what? Let's make sure that our hearts are always ready for when Jesus comes back. Man, some great questions, Spitz. You know what? Join us next weekend and next week as we come back for some more questions with Spitz.